Uh, okay. Uh, I've, I've kind of written out a, a big chunk of this in advance just to try to save time again a little bit. Um, I want to look at an example where we're dealing with the, uh, the root of a squared plus uh, x squared, that particular form, right? So this is kind of our second different like square root form. Um, the move here uh, is going to be to draw this triangle. So this changes the, the setup of the triangle. It's still the right triangle. And the basics here is that you're shifting where you put the X and the A. Um, and then what happens if you put them in the sort of opposite and the adjacent, right? Then you get kind of a pure version of Pythagorean theorem where X squared plus A squared would, would equal, right? This side length squared, the hypotenuse squared. So then the hypotenuse itself would just be the root of that. Um, that's the way all these different sort of these three different triangle setups work is you're trying to sort of set it up so that when you do a Pythagorean theorem, you get that particular either right root of, in this case, the sum or the sort of root of the two differences. Um, when we do this, if we think of what the tangent of, of this triangle would be, tangent would be like X over A. So then X would be equal to A times the tangent of theta. We know from the last examples, we're also gonna need a derivative, right? So the DX here, the derivative, is gonna be a times secant squared. The derivative of your tangent is secant squared with the d theta. And in theory, this is dx over d theta, but I've just sort of cross multiplied the d theta over. Um, getting the root, right? If I compare, you know, in theory, I wanna start with like the root over a, that would be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So that's right, the sort of flipped version of cosine, which is actually secant, which then means for us, the root itself would be a times the secant of theta. So what happens here that in theory is good news is, right, we get a mixture of tangents and secants. Um, we kind of know those functions go together as far as their derivatives and sort of antiderivatives anyway. So, so that's all kind of good news for us. Um, what that allows us to do is then approach uh, a, a particular problem. Um, so what I did here is let's do the, uh, the integral of 1 over the root of 4x squared plus 9. Now, there's a small change uh, in this example, right? Um, and so that change is, oh boy. Um, the change here is it's not just an x squared, it's four times x squared plus nine. So the a value here is three, right? A is three. And then the x here, instead of just being x, the x is two x. This is not a big deal. Um, it might seem like maybe we need to do some sort of extra wild substitutions or something like that, but it's it's honestly not that big of a deal. All we need to do is just draw our triangle where instead of having this side length be x, just use 2x instead, right? <coughs> Excuse me. The whole idea is you're trying to set up and get this hypotenuse in this case to be the root of 4x squared plus 9. So, so you need it to be, well, 2x squared is 4x squared, right? And then 3 squared is 9. And so if we just do that, everything else falls into place. That has some effect here on what our sort of values are. So if I kind of do the tangent from scratch, tangent would then be 2x over 3 rather than just like you would normally expect it to be like uh, uh, whatever, x over 3. But now it's 2x over 3. This is not a big deal. It just means that the x would be then if I sort of cross multiply would be 3 halves times tangent. So, right, you're getting, um, you know, 3 times... Uh, the tangent, but then the whole, but but then it's divided by two as well. So you get the sort of extra divide by two. The dx, our derivative, is just coming off of that anyway. So the three halves carries down, um, and then the secant is actually with the root is not affected because it, it doesn't involve the opposite side. So then that one's still going to be right. Our root here would just be three times the secant theta, uh, just the same as it would always be. So these are all of our subs, and what we're going to do is is plug them back in to the original, right? So this was sort of one over the root uh, dx. So if I sub those values in, I'm actually not subbing in for an x. I don't have an x here, which is fine, right? The root is three times secant, and then my dx was three halves secant squared. So what I, I'm ending up with here, caught up now to, to what I wrote. So one over three times the secant, right? Times three halves secant squared. So if I start to clean this up a little bit, you know, what'll happen here is the threes will cancel one of these secants will cancel one of these secants. So this is gonna be just like one half, just like one secant, I guess, right? Secant theta d theta. Um, that's, 
that's about a nice uh, as as nice an integral as as I would expect us to get if if we kind of go back to our table, right? What's that antiderivative going to be? This is sort of similar to the uh, cosecant, but it's positive. So this would be one half positive, right? Natural log of the absolute of secant theta plus tangent theta. And the whole thing is plus C. And so then from there, all I need to do is, um, right, sub in for my secant and sub in for my tangent. So what are those going to be? One half natural log. Um, we should be able to pull these out pretty fast. We actually have, oh, we've got both of them over here, right? Secant theta is, is our root over three. So I'll just actually pull those from the side. So four X squared plus nine, all over three. And then this is plus tangent, which was where? Here, opposite over adjacent. So then that's gonna be two X over three. Pulls up our absolute value and plus big C. And that's going to be our final. So that's the basics of it, right? I mean, that's kind of just running one of these examples that's sort of using this, this sort of alternate triangle setup to sort of get the right type of root, um, get our, all of our sort of pieces set up in the way that we want. Um, and that's the move. Uh, I'll do one more of these with this particular type of root and this particular type of triangle, but I'll, I'll start it from scratch, from scratch. So we've got plenty of time. All right, see you in the next video.